Like people, dogs need water. The general rule of thumb is that a dog will require about one ounce of water per pound of body weight per day. So, Apple here for example, last time we weighed her, she weighed in at about 17 pounds. So that means she'll need about 17 ounces of water per day. That's about two cups of water. It's a pretty significant amount. If you have one dog, then a little dish like this one that she was just drinking from, and it seems like Bootsy wants to go back to, um, will hold about two cups, actually a little bit more, and that's fine. Uh, drink up. My problem with that is, first of all, I have more than one dog, so I'd have to be refilling it all the time. And secondly, when we kept this on the floor, well, I kept tripping over it every single time I walked by. And then you get a flood on the floor, and you make a racket, and you could fall over. So we did something to help ourselves along for our multiple dogs and to prevent clumsy old me from tripping over the bowl. We had a water bowl with a base built in to our cabinet structure when we had our kitchen refinished a few years ago. You can see that we had the, the hole there cut to fit um, a water dish similar to the one you just saw, but larger, large enough to hold enough water for all four dogs in the house for a day. It would actually last a little bit longer. But you have to be aware of one of the dangers of leaving the water too long. Let's take a close-up look at this water bowl. If you see those little specks in there, that's visible dirt. You have to realize that this water bowl is going to come into contact with dog saliva, fragments of food that were in their mouth, or anything they've been chewing on, and that's a prime growing ground for bacteria. So it has to be cleaned and refilled regularly, at least once a day. So let's first do that here. So we take it over to the sink, dump out what's in there. Rinse it out nicely. Take a sponge with just a tiny bit of dishwashing detergent on it. And of course we don't want our dogs drinking detergent, so you got to do a good rinsing job on this. And we can refill this with tap water. Tap water that's safe for human consumption is also so safe for dog consumption. Or if we want to give them a little extra special protection and a little extra special treat, we can go over to the filtered water from our refrigerator. This is kind of a little difficult to negotiate because it doesn't really fit in there, so I need another container to hold the water to pour into this. Any sort of a pitcher, or in this case a, a pot, does a very nice job. One thing I like about this particular water filter dispenser is that it gives me a reading of how many ounces have been dispensed. I can see right now I'm up to about 30 ounces. And now I will bring it back to where it belongs, where I can't trip over it. And where even Apple, who had been drinking some water, wants to check it out and see if it's better than the other stuff. A few things to keep in mind. There are many sources that dogs can get their water from. If you're feeding wet food or fresh food, there's quite a bit of moisture in that already. So a can of dog food could easily have a half cup, three quarters of a cup of water um, in it when you feed it to them. Um, my dogs get kibble, so but I serve it with warm water over the top, and I make sure that they have plenty of water during the day. Some dogs have special needs. This is Tag. Um, she's an older cavalier, and like some older cavaliers, she is now affected by heart disease. She's on medication for the heart disease. One of those medications is Lasix, which is a diuretic. does make her have to urinate more often. 
and of course that means she has to drink more often. She has more of a need to take in fluids. When we first put her on the Lasix, she would wake us up at like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and she didn't really want to go out. She really just wanted to go get a drink because she was thirsty. And she sleeps in a crate like this. That's for her own safety. Um, and um, she loves the crate actually. So I'd have to get out of bed and let her out of the crate and let her out to get a drink. We solved that with this little thing. Some people call it a rabbit waterer or a rabbit water bottle. Um, it can be used for rabbits, ferrets, the guinea pigs, hamsters, any small animal. It can also be used for dogs. They learn almost immediately how to use it. You see there's a little spout that comes out here. If I turn it upside down, you see a drip or two, but um, there is like a little ball bearing in the tip that keeps the water from just gushing out. It hangs on the crate by a little wire hanger so that the spout faces into the crate. Now when Ted goes in there first thing uh, at bedtime, she immediately goes to that. She learned within less than one day how to use it. Let's let's see if she'll do it. It's not bedtime right now, but let's see if she'll drink from it right now. Tag! And there she goes. She's, oh, she's also licking up my spillage. So this means any time of the night, we don't have to worry about Tag needing a drink. She can help herself whenever she wants. So remember, approximately one ounce per pound of dog body weight per day. Keep the water bowl clean and refreshed every day and make sure you provide for the needs of special needs like good old special tag yes we love you <laughs>